All right, hey everybody, a very warm welcome to yet another very, very special video that I'm creating for all of you, all the people who are watching this. In this video, we are talking about an amazing CAD shortcut. A very, very amazing shortcut wala question applied to a CAD question. A very amazing concept which we will apply in CAD question. It will be fun to solve today's question. Ko solve karne ke baad. And that too, without using pen and paper, how do we go about solving a brilliant CAD question? Let us have a look. Chalo dekhte. Sabse pehle to all the people who are new here, uh, my name is Sudhan Chu, graduated in finance and marketing from IIM Lucknow. And in this journey, a guide, a mentor to help you all and to sort of handhold in the last 45 days. Let's begin and see how do we apply a beautiful shortcut in a question like this. First of all, let us you know, understand the question. Let's understand what is happening here. This is an actual CAD question and you can find it online also. In 2010, a library contained a total of 11,500 books in two categories, fiction and nonfiction. In 2015, the library contained a total of 12,760 books in these two categories. During this period, there was a 10% increase in the fiction category and a 12% increase in the non-fiction category. Now, what does that tell us? The overall increase must be a number between 10% and 12%, right? Because that's how averages work. If some part increases by 10%, some part increases by 12%, the overall must increase you know, by a number which is between 10 and 12. Perfect. How many fiction books were there in library in 2015? Try solving that question once yourself and tell me, is it possible to do this question without even using pen and paper? A very, very beautiful problem. Just pause the video, try it once yourself and then have a look at this beautiful solution. So now let me head straight to the solution. Between 10% and 12% will be the increase, right? Let me take a very simple number, the only integer between 10% and 12% that let's take 11%. 11,500 increasing by 11%. What is that number? So if you, you know, think about it, 11,500, 11% 11 is 1265. If you increase this number by 1265, then the number becomes 12765, 12,765. The number that you see here is actually slightly less than that. So therefore, the increase here is slightly less than 11%. Now, if this number is slightly less than 11%, which basically means that this, you know, the fiction category is slightly more, you know, 10% and 12%. If the if there are in ratio one is to one, then the final will become 11%. If 10% will be more, then, you know, it will be towards 10%. If 12% will be more, then it will be towards 12%. So the answer must be bias towards fiction. So the fiction book must be more than half of the total. So 12,760 is the total. Half of this will be somewhere around 6,400. My only answer option, which is more than half, is 6,600. So how many fiction books were there in library in 2015? That is answer option one. Maza aya kini. Remember one thing. If you really want to have good attempts in QA, you have to have some really interesting ways of solving problems. And this is the time to think about it. It will not come to you automatically. So when you are solving questions, think of better ways of solving questions. At least think about it. Maybe you will not get it. But what is important is to think, right? I'm hoping that this helps. If it is helpful, do share it with all the aspirants and make their day as well. I'm hoping that you liked it. I'll keep coming back with more and more shortcuts in the last 40 days that are there. God bless you all. Take care. And bye-bye.